Monday the 1st of March at 6.15 we are at 29 degrees. Do not have an updated report from the town. I can tell you what the trails are like and I'll get into that in a minute because I was out riding just a little while ago. As you can see we have snow in the air today. Long range forecast is looking good for the week. Weekend starting to look a little iffy and by the beginning of next week it does not look pretty at all. Hopefully it will change. Best thing I can suggest is if you're thinking about getting a ride in, you better get it in pretty soon. So when I went out to see what the trails were really like, rumor was coming in for the shift change because the first shift was coming in, second shift will be going out. Look at the snow and the drag. For those of you who have seen the groomers go, it's not supposed to be like that. See how it's all balled up? That's why the groomers were not out over the weekend. The snow was so cotton pick and wet that it was just balling up in the drag and literally dragging the snow off the trails. When I was doing my plowing this weekend, when I was pushing the snow up in the piles, I literally could see the water running out of the snow pile. It was that wet. I was out riding Saturday afternoon. Every minute or two, I had to squeegee my shield off. When I got home, I had to hang my suit up because it was soaked. So from running groomers, because I've done it a few years, you can't groom when it's that wet. Contrary to what everybody might think, until you've run a groomer, trust me, it doesn't do any good. It just makes a mess. And yes, they were probably grooming over in Tug Hill. Their snow was probably cold, or it was drier than what we got, which is not unheard of either. This is trail one. We just went past three the railroad tracks, and this is going around the corner. I did places where everybody would recognize so they could see what the conditions were like. Groomers were out in full force today, getting things back in the shape. Yes, it would have been nice if they were out over the weekend, but again, it just wouldn't have done any good. They just would have been spinning their wheels and making more of a mess. This is Pipeline. Next video clip is the intersection of Pipeline and 8. And sorry about the dot. I didn't realize that there was a speck of snow on the lens, so you, you couldn't see anything. And the next video clip is coming back in North Street, just past the Packer Shack. You can see this is some of the ugly. I mean, and there is some uglier than this out there, but on the trails, they are getting it back in the shape. But as you can see, the streets are anything to talk about. If you're planning on doing road riding, stay home. Not happening. We're in the springtime conditions. And this is the driveway. Now, you know, everybody's saying, oh, the town should leave snow built up on the road, blah, da, 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 da. And yes, that would be great under ideal conditions. But the problem is temperatures don't always favor that. This is what my driveway looks like. Imagine what the streets would be like if you left it built up and tried driving on them. And notice on the right-hand side, that's from the studs tearing up the, the snow. Hope you're having a good one. And remember...